we're a tech company in the fashion space. Right. So we started in your closet because right. it's the most underserved part of a woman's life. Yeah. I mean, we found that women are spending more money on their clothing than their education, which is let's crazy. Pa let's pause and contemplate that let's for a second. Think about that for boy, a second. Oh more yeah. money on their clothing than their education. This, yeah. These are averages. These are not people who love fashion necessarily. Right. And when you look at sort of all the systems that we have in our life, if you look at there's something to manage our calendar, there's something to manage our travel, there's something to manage our finances. I can change my thermostat from my phone. I can check right. my baby's monitor from another state. You can see if somebody's breaking into your house. Yes, right, from exactly. Your phone. Who's ringing your doorbell? Right. But you can't actually see what's in your closet. And for women, they're spending so much time and clearly money on their wardrobe. And it's like, why is there nothing to help us manage our stuff. So we started simply as an inventory management system. Right. We were like, for online shoppers, this technology exists. Let's get all of your online purchases and hold them into one wardrobe for you, just so you can see what you have. So that when you're in the store, you're not buying your seventh pair of, of skinny jeans. Right. Or, or when you're getting ready for a job interview, you can just go on your phone and figure out what to wear versus spending all that time focusing on something that's really not that important, right, compared right. to actually performing in the job interview. And so we were trying to figure out a way to sort of make this whole process more efficient and we had the idea but neither one of us are developers we can't code and so we found someone uh, Gillis Baxter he it, he had an app himself and he loved the idea and we came together and we're like how do we do this and so we hired developers and I think that's one thing I think people are often so afraid to sort of take that big step and start something because yeah. they don't think that they can do it